Hey guys, it's Breadstick, and today I will be your host, and I'm going to tell y'all all all about the new Yeeps update. Let's go! This is the brand new Yeeps Explore bundle. It costs $30, includes 10,000 butt coins plus the items. A trench coat, goggles, and a new siren reskin are included. There is also an Explore backpack. Now let's go look at the new items. Many new items have been added to the tech web, such as the brand new pipes that are usable and creative for builds. Another new item is the zipline and the grapplers. The zipline I will be showing you in just a few seconds. There's also a few new items such as the racetracks, which I will demo in just a second. And there are just many new creative blocks that are usable to build your own unique creations and ideas and yeeps. And I guess you can also use them in your own creative world, too. This is the brand new zipline pylon that I showed you. See, if you jump onto it and grab onto it, you go down in the pivoted direction. This is the brand new racetrack right next to me, which I will demo right now. So basically, you sit here until the wall goes down. You're going to want to run, hop on the zip lines, and you have to pass every single checkpoint. The checkpoints are those little arches with the little check on them. Another way that uh, the racetrack helps is there's arrows that points in the direction so you don't get lost as you go through the whole track. So I'm basically just going to keep following the direction until you reach the finish line. If you hit every checkpoint correctly, then once you get to the finish line, it will tell you the time that you finished in. And the finish line is located straight in the new outpost. Once you finish, confetti will shoot up and yeah. This is another zipline pylon, but except it's neon. Neon pylons can send you in any direction that you jump on them from. You can pretty much go up or down. It just depends the direction you hop onto. So basically, the main difference between the two zip lines is that... Oh, no. Okay, well, what I was saying is that a normal zip line goes down in the direction that it's pivoted at, like this one right here. It just goes down when you hop onto it, and it's a normal color like blue. But a neon zip line goes in any direction you hop onto, but it must be neon. It pretty much just forces you in that direction and can take you pretty much anywhere. It's honestly just better for travel, and it can go faster. It depends if you, like, grab onto it and speed up. These are the new grapplers, and I just gotta say, they're amazing. You can pretty much swing around anywhere you want. So, the thing about grapplers is obviously they can't be too overpowered. They cost 200 cotton per shot, and you can take them off by just grabbing them. But after picking them up, they stick to your hand, which is so amazing. But basically, you can just shoot around. You have a limited amount of shots because the 200 cotton cost, but here, I'll show y'all what gameplay looks like. So you can pretty much just shoot them at walls. There is a limit to the distance you can shoot them from. But they're also elastic, so if you pull down on them, you can give a little boost and you shoot up in the air. Which is pretty fun, and it's pretty useful because you can just swing around corners and escape people. But my favorite thing about them is this, what I do all the time. I call it, like, zipline running, which is really fun. So let's say you're running from somebody, and you can pretty much just hop onto a wall and just run across it. It's so fun. It's, like, literally my favorite juke to do. And you just zip around. I mean, you just stick to the wall. You're literally Spider-Man. And, yeah, I mean, the zip lines are a must-have. I mean, what can you say? It's just, they're amazing. And I would just highly recommend anybody, if you have enough butt coins, I recommend getting it. Because they're just so good. But another thing I would also like to talk about is that when using these, it they're kind of difficult to control in the beginning, but you will slowly get used to it afterwards. But you can also, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it, you can burst fire it. And when doing that, you can just send yourself flying. Like, if you just shoot out a building instantly, you just fly up in the air. It's super fun to do. 
You can also jump onto pylons and then use the grappler to shoot yourself off and you just go super fast. So that's another way to escape people while using them. But basically, my overall review of them is that they're just basically amazing. I mean, what can you say? So now I'm going to show you around the uh, new outpost map. This is basically, I guess you could say, the headquarters of everything. I mean, this is also where the finish line is when you do the race. And, I mean, it's pretty simple. There's a butt coin stash in there if anybody's looking for those. I'm not going to give them all away because, let's be real here, it's more fun for y'all to find them. But if you go up these ladders and then if you just pinch okay or you can just fall down, never mind. All right. So uh, you can pretty much just pinch climb up here. And here we are up here on the top of the new siren. This is what you saw in the beginning of the video. It's pretty cool. It's pretty high up. And obviously you can jump off of it down into the bottomless spike pit at the very bottom, which is so fun. It's honestly hilarious to just try and do flips off of there. It's like a w massive diving board. But there's also, like, caves hidden around the map and just cool Easter eggs. And there's also, like, obviously the zip lines located all around the map. I mean, I they're everywhere. I don't know where you can go without finding them. Here's a cave right here. You go here during the race. It's pretty easy to escape people because of the, like, spikes on the ground. You can just hop around them. There's another cave entrance that I will go to in just a second if I don't die. My goodness. Okay. All right. So it, the next cave is kind of across from like the finish line. Not the finish line, the uh, beginning. The starter point. My goodness. So if you just travel towards there, like I'm doing just now, you can look to your left where there's that little like jump thing. And looks like there is currently a fort in there. Let's go check that out. Oh, what do you know? Somebody has completely turned the cave into their own fort. Um, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't really know what to say about that. But, uh, oh. I just witnessed a griefing. All right. Um... I'm speechless. I'm just gonna, just gonna leave now. Alrighty. Um, <laughs> let's uh, just pretend that never happened. Even though I am a cop, I'm just gonna flee the scene. <laughs> All right. Um. So basically, this new map is huge, and obviously, it's an open hangout, so you don't gotta worry about just constantly getting chased. There's also generators all around the map, which gives you cotton every few seconds, so you can't really ever run out. I mean, I guess if you spammed hard enough on your items, you can, but it's pretty much unlimited. There's also, I believe there's five butt coin stashes, correct me if I'm wrong, hidden around the map. So my overall review of this new update is I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It is such a good update. I highly recommend downloading Yeeps if you haven't. Tell your friends, everybody should know this game and play it it is just absolutely amazing it's definitely my favorite vr game see you guys in the next video bye